Let us watch on to find out more. Supreme Master Ching Hai's lectures are not a complete meditation instruction. Please do not try alone. For a free of charge guidance, please visit godsdirectcontact.org or contact any of our centers near you. ជាងគេយើងពេលបញ្ចោះនេះនឹងត្រូវមានវង្ហាញជាសាអង់គ្លេសចិនហ្នឹងអូឡាដែលត្រូវគេស្គាល់ថាជាជនជាតិវៀត
nơi tiêu thụ bồn hải trâu kê pro kê thị dục bên mười chín năm thì mỗi nắng rung quan chia tranh tiết biên rung quan sầm đạp sáu mươi hiệp sầm đạp bát hoa đo lịch mà robot master sầm lên bật bật cất đo sầm mà mật phe đo sáu sáu hai robot dương ban lơ cầm bùa robot à há đe mua là than đo sầm đạp hiệp nâng snet snet đo cá hiệp à đăng khuôn robot thò mà chiết trong buộc hiệp sát tập vật chia chỉ riêng, tiếng ao chia cá bắt nay bị phô lục đại miên, hiệp ngọc ngát đỏ rung rương đại sự co lục nâng mật nô, ruộng nơi khung hiệp trụ đầm sục khè, nâng cổm nứt đồ đầm đầm bọc quạt đầm bấy bông riết chân thai kia vegan, miên hiệp chụp rọ nâng cho rôm chia cá chạy chạy sự phơi, chi vật ruộng nơi tam tè, hang ăn trả chết lo vinh hết trụ sự vật. Supreme Master có đôi chìa cá này dễ chìa tiên tuột Tư nẹ đợi tay đất nguồn rốt phía bà Bà chúi bà chài Đại ban ở tử bố nâng chô rùm Sát tử vật xây bì cá bà bố Nghe sát tử thiệt chìa Dương đất nguồn ổng bí vía rửa ọt Kích khách không prang prang đã bọc quạt Bán chạy ở tử bố dàng khăn Tử lơ ca vô đăng bí sử có Đấy bì cá rùa nơ Chỉ mùi sát Nâng, tự việc là bẹp nơi cá đoàn ca là ồ, đại ách nôm mộc nơi phiếp sân đập hiệp Dù ổng quen khăn ông chùm nòm, rồi chia xa thiê rồi nạ đại ca sông cổ Phiếp đại rồi bỏ dường vì ca bẹp rùa ca thật thiệt Chia chả ăn chả nằm mộc hài Cô nghe bàn thua đậm ná tu tiên bị phục lột Vì tư Amerik tư tư tự bồn bệnh Vì ở rập tới ô xe ảnh hai bàn thay sát cá chia chỉ mùi xa thiê rồi nặng nâng bộ xe rồi bọc quạt nơi bỏ thiên bọt kháng vị nhà chia chả ảnh tiệt Thay ní dương miền phố đâm bay bóng hán chìa mùi khăn ông châm nóm tiền này ca bóng riên đò xa lạc ở quầy miền châm nóm trường thà Và công xong ai thầm ấy bố quên đại cơ đây sẵn khâm phân hai mùi này bì rồi viên chờ quầy nâng xa Đại trơ kê ôi chìa mùi chìa phí xa ông ngờ lê chân nâng ông lạc Đại trơ kê xa xa Việt Nam phong đài Nói thằng ngày tì đọc bằng buôn khai vị trí ca chân nâng bí buôn đọc bằng bởi Kì hì xe hào tài văn Đại kê xa xa phong đài Oh, where did you get this? <laughs> I thought it's a symbol. I thought it's a symbol. I just sit in my go car and then you sit around. Yeah, but then they make it so <laughs> so important. Yeah. I don't care about the chair. You know that. Sometimes I just stand on top of those, uh, you know, boxes and talk to people. Sometimes I just sit on my golf car. Sometimes I just standing. It's not about the chair. This is not my chair. <laughs> if I'm dead, then it belongs to somebody else or I just sit in the museum, do nothing. Yeah? It's just that you want to see me, understand? And I want to give you as much as possible blessing that you can assimilate. If it's mixed with somebody else, it might not be so favorable. Understand now? We have so many old people. I can never ask them all to sit on my seat. The seat is only two seats or three seats. And it is for you to see me. The, the reason I sit on high so that even the people from behind can see me and get the blessing if I have any. Understand? It's not like the seat here is because I'm the master, not because of my position. It is because of you. Yeah, and if they put it here because they want to put a cloth or beautiful cloth because they want to protect the chair. <laughs> so they can... It lasts longer, so we don't have to buy a new one. Or maybe the chair is so old and ugly, you know. <laughs> yeah, yes, that's what we do. <laughs> yeah, that's what I do in my, my, my private area because I don't always have beautiful chair or a table available. So if some guests come, I quickly just throw a 
piece of cloth on it to make it look festive, welcoming, and beautiful. Even though underneath is all scratched and broken. Yeah, because I use uh, sometimes in my life, I don't always have a chance to decorate my house. I don't have that luxury anymore. I used to have that, and I love decorating my house, making homey, and all that. All that was a long time ago. And now I just bring those like foldable, <laughs> you know, somewhere from a supermarket. You buy it ten dollars or something, and they are not like good quality, of course. Yeah, it's meant for picnic or temporary use. Therefore. The, it, it peel off easily and broken here and there. Or the, the pain that fall off you know, from the chair. Anything, of course, because we harassed it too much. You know, we fold it quick and throw it in the, uh, the truck and then just run, you know, with every el everything else on top of it. Of course, the poor table <laughs> and the poor chair <laughs> cannot always endure this kind of treatment. And then it went, you know, broken, kaput. Sometimes I have to use uh, duct tape <laughs> <laughs> to fix <laughs> the peeling um, skin from on top of the table. Otherwise, the cloth don't come down. You know, just the cloth go up on one side <laughs> because the skin of peeling off and, you know, curl up. Or my coffee cup will Top side, huh? If I put on that, whatever, yeah, you know that. We don't have any building here. I have told people, if it's cold, don't come. If it's rain, don't come. But do they listen to me? Huh? No. Is it cold today? Yes or no? Yes. Yeah, and they still come. Thousands strong. What am I to do? Then I always try to do as much <laughs> as I can, as one person can. You think I have a lot of helpers, it's not like that. It's not true. Even today, I have to normally, uh, somebody drive me to see you, yeah? Today, I, I have to let the driver stay and take care of my office because it had not been taken care of for 10 days. <laughs> I did it all myself. It's just that not the big cleaning, you know? Every day I did something, but it's not a big cleaning. And also, I'm very busy. Mostly, I work until four or five o'clock in the morning, take a quick meditation or whatever, and then have to continue working again, you know, inside, inside work and outside work. Because of inside work, I'm more busy. If I don't have SMTV, that's already better, you know, for many years. For some years, yeah, after SMTV, I stop and I have more relaxing time. Not like relaxing, you know, for cooking for myself, taking care of my personal things, have more quality times with dogs, for example, like that. That's just called relaxing time. <laughs> right now, it's a better just sesame and brown rice, because then nobody has to bring it up for me and bring it down. If I tell them, that's not right, that's not right, it hurts their ego, and then we have a problem. See what I mean? So might as well just rely on myself, do what's the most simple. So it's not like uh, it's not like I have a lot of time, okay? Mm. Uh, even before, when I put some makeup on, I do it more detail. Now I just quick. <laughs> I have a different technique. <laughs> <laughs> a quickie technique. I'm not telling you because you don't need it. <laughs> you have a lot of times. I also show you before how to do makeup already, right? Yeah, in one of the videos. So it's also simple. Mm. I just that if I have to do, you know, like like you do for SMTV, some people have really professional makeup. Oh, that takes a long time. At least. 40 minutes for some of the, the makeup that I saw on SMTV. I'm very pleased. Yeah, be beautiful, okay, for the audience, so that they might be more uh, attracted to look at you. Hmm. Do you have any question for me? If yes, okay. Then you raise your hand. If no, I go. <laughs>
Make sure is a good question. Dear Master, thank you very much for all the invisible work you have done to help all the disciples, especially for me. For uh, you? And everyone. Okay. I think everyone has very touching story about their own life of improvement, progress of their spiritual practice. Oh. I have experienced many, many times when a so-called test come, mm. and I failed most of them. And I know Master has done everything, you know, that I cannot achieve myself. So I know how much, how humble our Master is. And must have done everything just for the benefit of everybody, not for herself. Um, from my experience, must take anything that nobody wants. Must always take. If any one person wants the thing, must will give it to the person. Only the one must understand nobody wants. For example, the karma nobody want, master take it. The person nobody want, master keep them. Are you sure? <laughs> <laughs> I've okay. tried so okay. many times. I have so, so, so many experiences. I know ah, okay. how great master is. So you know that personally. It's good. Right. Thank you, master. Good, you're welcome. Okay, good. Question? There's one over here. Um, Master, two or uh, three years ago, you mentioned that uh, this is a grace period. And uh, I wonder if you can explain what that means and what's going to happen after the grace period is over. I said that three years ago, huh? <laughs> <laughs> you think it's still there? <laughs> it is a grace period, otherwise you wouldn't have been here. You couldn't be here. Many continents will be, uh, how you say, submerged, okay? The human kinds, most of them would have been destroyed, animals included. And the continent on the, the planet would have started all over again, like in the, in the Ice Age, after Ice Age time, okay? It is through the grace that not all the glaciers has been melted, even though the, the weather is so hot. And it's through the grace that we still have enough time to recover. Hmm? And that through the grace that we are still here, the humans, that we can have time to adjust, to quickly amend for what we have done, and uh, possibly restore the order on, uh, for life on this planet to continue, okay? You see many good news nowadays. Even the big, great Grand China has ordered, you know, laboratory meat. I mean, no meat, meat instead. You see, and now you know how many people in China and the Chinese government, the most powerful, they can tell their people what to do, and their people will listen more than any other countries on the planet. Do you understand what I'm saying? I have very big faith in Chinese government, in their power, in their influence on their citizens. And if Chinese blaze the trail on vegetarianism, then we will have hope, okay? We have more hope, a lot more hope to save this earth for our next generation, so that they live in health, happiness, and possibly spirituality, okay? So that is grace, yeah? Uh, yeah.
As you don't know the news, Chinese government signed uh, to make uh, to to make a new kind of uh, protein. Yeah, it looks like meat. It probably tastes like meat, but and it's very healthy. More healthy than meat. Much more healthy. Cheaper. <laughs> but need a little more time. Okay, China is huge. Even to make such a meat takes some time, okay? So, but at least the, the trend is going towards this direction. And I'm sure the Chinese government, with the support and uh, cooperation with the whole Chinese people, they will lead the world into a new era. Hmm? I believe that. A Chinese president, when he first accepted his assignment, that people entrusted to him to be the second time, you know, to be a president second time again, he said, this is a new era for China. But I believe it's also a new era for the world. <laughs> If Chinese people make these giant steps, you know, they will be leaders. I mean, true leaders of humankind. And I will be forever grateful in the names of our inhabitants on this planet. <laughs> Any more questions, love? Yes, dear Master, I'd like to share something. It's um, regarding the, the vegan things. Mm. It's uh, so popular in the U.S. U.S.? Yeah, yeah U.S. Uh -huh. Because um, not only the vegan food is so popular, and uh, like, uh, I think it's a Beyond Burger, it's uh, become so popular. Beyond Burger? Beyond Burger is a vegan burger. Uh, Beyond yeah, Burger. Yeah, Beyond Burger. I thought you said yeah. yum, yum yeah, burger. No, no, no. <laughs> yeah. And they say, and that burger is uh, developed, uh, they was told that it's developed by the, invest by Bill Gates. Ah. Oh, because they, they want they, they foresee the yes. the shortage of food in the future, mm -hmm. so they want people to cut down the meat. Yeah. So they spend the millions of dollars and then years of time to develop the the burger patty tastes like a real one. Yes. And much more nutrition. Of course. And then it is in the short period of time it becomes so overwhelming. Not only the vegan restaurant want to use it, mm -hmm. almost every single burger menu, they will put there, we have a vegan burger here, ah, try vegan burger. Wonderful. Yeah. And wow. then that's the one thing. And not only the food wise, and then the, uh, we have a more like a vegan bag, backpack, uh -huh. and vegan shoes. Ah, okay. and like, then like this lot, one? Yes, yes. A lot of, <laughs> yeah. Pretty, no? Yeah. It's all vegan. <laughs> and, And then the even vegan shoes, the proof is more durable than the leather. And mm. then, re and that much, much less the environment damage. Yes, yes. Yeah. So it's a suddenly like, a, you know, the Bronson. Everywhere, everybody can show, hey, I have a bag here. I have a shoes here. You don't have to sacrifice anymore. No. Yeah. And then you, why you need to? Sacrifice the the other piece of life and then do this and then it's much better for not only us yeah, for our yeah, next generation. Yeah. My, my shoes beautiful. Mm. Look at that. <laughs> matching even. Mm. Ah, matching. <laughs> and cheaper. Very cheap. Mm? Yeah. And right now there's a one percent. Made uh, by cloth. Yeah. Yeah. One percent. Uh, 1% percent of total population in United States, they are the vegan. No, <laughs> so I'm sorry, more, it's more only 3.7. But the, a lot of organ organization, okay, they do they do a lot of things. They they wear the uh, costume of the animal, mm. and they go to the very far away to give away the recipe. Mm. And one one time I talked to the founder because I'm the member of them, and oh. all, we all sometimes we email each other. Yeah, and sometimes they have the party I joined them and they told me say hey, you know we went to the Alabama and th three years ago when we talked to vegetarian they say huh mm. and now after three years we, we keep doing that giveaway and Come then back, yes. yeah and then can you imagine there's a 250 pound 
big guy and wear the custom under the 100 degree and give away the fryer, say, uh -huh. try vegan <laughs> recipe. And then after that, he say, I'm dehydrated and I need to call 911. <laughs> and now everybody know vegan. What is a vegan? If you ask that small town, he said, you know what is a vegan? He said, oh yeah, that big guy gave me the recipe. I still have some in my own. Mm -hmm. And then I know what is a vegan now. Uh -huh. I will try that. I mean, he can mm -hmm. grow as big as him. That's right. Even with vegan. Yeah, they try. They try. <laughs> okay. I think. So Good I example. Think Just find some more big guy and go <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. do the yeah. vegan flyer. Yeah. huh? <laughs> I really believe this is because of Master you elevate and uh, Ivera at everybody's uh, spiritual. Thank, Thank you, you very much. Thank you Thank for you your work. Yeah. Thank, Thank you. you. Yes. Yes, because some people think that eating vegan make you skinny and small like me, you know. But I'm a woman, yeah. Men like small girls, right? Yeah, so it doesn't matter. If the girl is okay with men, you find a tough one, you know, work out a lot, tattoo, whatever, and they go. <laughs> go. Uh, how you say? Distribute the flyer, huh? No, I'm just joking. Doesn't matter. Yeah. Some people like to be big and tough. Some people don't care. Yes. So do what you do, what you can. And uh, when the time comes, they think about it. Even though they don't accept right away, but they think about it. And one day something triggers these memories. And they became vegan also. Yeah, whatever. Okay. But for you, you're safe because you're vegan, right? Yeah, you could. But be careful. Don't eat too much oily stuff, huh? Not because vegan, and then you can indulge yourself in too many things that are unhealthy. Okay, everything moderate is good, huh? Mm. And don't don't eat brown rice sesame only just because I do it. <laughs> you always copy. You do what you want. You're free. Okay. Uh, just like when I was in Hungary, I just wear simple, you know, to go around. And then you all, all, everybody I saw, you know, after that a period of time, everybody wear exactly the same. <laughs> you know, straight, one rope close. You shouldn't do that. You do what you want, okay? That's why the world has variety and it's very interesting, yeah? If everybody look like everybody else, then it seems like a dictative kind of society, no? Okay? And people might think that I order you to do that. No, no. I design a lot of different clothes for you to look pretty and different. Yeah? Be proud that you are different. Except you don't do anything harmful to anyone else. Then it's okay. Hmm? I have uh, some uh, jewelry they prepare for me, but I didn't even have time to put it on. <laughs> Just, but you do, okay? You put on whatever you like. It's not necessarily my jewelry, yeah? You, you be pretty, yeah? You be good. But I envy the boys because they don't have to do anything. They don't wear anything. They don't even make up, high heel, nothing. All the girls always go around, you know, trying to woo them. <laughs> Woe them. That's why they call woman. <laughs> woman. Because <laughs> they go around wooing men. <laughs> men. All right. Any more question? It's cold today, huh? I wish you don't come here in such a cold weather. Hello, Master. Yeah. Hello. I was the one last week um, talked to Master about someone called me to do, someone used Master's name, called me to do the Master's project. Good. And the Master asked me who called me. I was so nervous that I did not answer Master's question. Oh. Uh, I have their names with me. You don't May have I... to. It's okay. It's okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. It's, it's past already. If that person doesn't do anything wrong, then it's okay. Okay. Thank you, Master. No, you're welcome. Okay. Mm. Uh, I mostly do not want to know what you guys are doing <laughs> behind my back <laughs> or against the principal. It's just that sometimes I have to know for some reason, okay? Because of, in, in Vietnam we say one little worm spoil the whole apple now, okay? It's like that. If you want to stay in our group, then you have to do what is right and just and correct, okay? According to your conscience and the precepts so that you can climb higher spiritually also. Hmm? 
Yeah. But whatever you did without knowing and or being, uh, say, deluded or leading on to do it, then it's okay. Just uh, don't do it again. Forgive yourself. All right? Yeah. Good. Anything else? Hello, Master. Hello. I see you first time. You're so beautiful. You. Now? Yeah. No. You, <laughs> on. Thank you. No, no. On real life, then on picture. So beautiful. Thank you. Then. On TV, this they do touch up. You know that now. They have magic, <laughs> magic. Woo. <Ooh. laughs> Master, in Mongolia now, so many doctors are interested in vegan, vegan food. Yes. Um, my two friends now open a vegan sanitary hospital. Oh, really? Yeah. yeah. Where? In Ulambata? In Ulambata. Yeah. Wow. Not far from Ulambata. Yeah. yeah. What? Not far from Ulambata. No, ten kilometer. A ten away? Yeah. Oh, it's not not far. Yeah. Not in far. forestry place. Wow. In winter time in Ulambata, uh, we day it's so dirty, smoking. Very smoky. It is very bad influence to heal people. In that time, this sanitary opening is very imp important for Mongolians. Of course it is. Yeah. Of course it is. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Wonderful. I'm glad. <laughs> thank you. Uh, thank you, other Mongolians. Also, in had a few big hospitals. One of them, short hospitals, director asked us to open vegan food cookie center in the hospital. Also. Oh, yeah. wonderful. Wow. Wow. Yeah. You guys are doing a good job in Mongolia. <laughs> Thank you, huh? Thank you, the Mongolian. Yes. Try to spread more of the SMTV in Mongolia through your own or whatever, okay? Through your own uh, website or anybody should do that, yeah? Inside your country, you should also let people know that we are on air, okay? Right. Every country should do that, yes. Mm. Anything else? Minister of Mongolia, very loves you, and he bought this ring and master's clothes. Also, I'm planning now to buy to him special books. Oh, oh wonderful. Yeah. <laughs> Give him one extra. Hmm? Yeah. Something. DVD or something, yeah. okay? Yeah. yeah. Give him one extra, huh? Yes. Uh, silent tea or something like that, okay? Yeah. Not, not charging. Hmm? Yes, thank, thank you. you. Okay. okay, thank you. Next one. Mongolia, they don't have a lot of people, but they're so strong. So strong. Thank you, Master. Uh, first of all, I have to express, express my uh, gratitude, and I feel so lucky that I met a uh, greatest of the greatest God of the whole universe in the entire Ian. And then um, I, I want to express of my feelings about ve vegetarian food around me, myself. In our working place, when I introduced the ve uh, vegetarian food to them, uh, although the co-workers of mine, they don't know uh, what is, or they don't accept it immediately, mm. but they all say that they have relatives or they have somebody they know, mm, they, are they, are, they are vegetarian. And uh -huh. I had a party seven, uh, several days ago for my son's birthday, and uh, uh, after, uh, after they eat and I introduce them, those are all vegetarian food, and mm. they don't tell the difference. Mm. And then uh, some of the children uh, t told me that uh, they have relatives also vegan. Mm. So uh, I think that, uh, and last year in the subway, I saw the adv advertisement about, from the PETA uh, mm. about the no buying, no hurting mm. advertisement in the subway, the subway station. So I feel um, the atmosphere in China of the animal protection mm -hmm. and the uh, ve vegetarian food yeah. are rising. The atmosphere oh. are rising. In China? In China. In, in China, Beijing, in Beijing. PETA can do that? Peter, yes, yes. And wow. last year, last year's thing. Wonderful. I, I feel so happy. Ah, wonderful. I'm happy too. Thank you, Master. Yes. I'm very happy and grateful to your government, the Chinese government. Yes. And I'm grateful to your president especially. He's a great man. <laughs> Thank you.
សូមអរគុណចំពោះការចូលរួមជាមួយយើងសម្រាប់កម្មវិធីពេលបញ្ចប់ដែលមានចំណងជើងថាស្គាត់កុំសម័យថ្មីពោលពេញដែលក្តី